another little Persis Progress video. Uh, the observant amongst you will notice I haven't got the little lad out with me at the moment. That's because I've left him in the, in the truck. And uh, basically what's happened over this last week or so, I've been trying an exercise out with some of the training clients and uh, I realised I actually haven't tried this with, with Percy. It's quite a complicated little exercise, uh, made more difficult because of a mode ride out in the field. So I better thought I better get out here early this morning and uh, just try and see how Percy gets on with it. Right, so I've set the dummy launcher up and what I've done, I've, uh, these two dummies that are going to go off to the left we're actually going to go across a small mowed ride in this long grass. And when I've been practicing this with some of my clients' dogs, the ride just seems to create a real barrier for them. They'll, they'll go out to it and then they'll want to hunt along the ride rather than going across to pick the dummy. So this is the first time I've actually tried this with Percy. So it's going to be interesting to see whether um, his mark is good enough to take him um, across that ride. So I've left him in the car. I've set my blind by the stake. Uh, so I shall go and get him and uh, let's see how he gets on with this exercise. This is going to be genuine. I've not practiced this with him uh, before. So I'll do it as a first time exercise and hopefully uh, try and work him through it and see how he gets on. So we've got Percy out of the car. My dummy launcher is set up over there. My blind set up in front of this stake here. First one is going to be my purple dummy straight off into that long grass. And just remember there's a mode ride in there which seems to have been causing some of the trainee dogs a few problems but we'll see how we get on um, I'm going to use that first then I'm going to fire off the double red one will come back in here the green one will go a little bit shorter but still in that long grass I don't want those I want to see if I can get him out on this stake for the blind and this is quite a useful exercise just as I say I'm going to be picking up with him in a few weeks time it's a baking hot day now I've actually come out quite early but it's got quite warm uh, very quickly so I'm going to have one go at this if it doesn't work um, or it doesn't go quite to plan then I know I've got to practice it and I can come back and do it another day I'm not going to run in too hard today it's too warm so early if you watch the early videos you'll notice I use a, a, a mark command which means for the dogs to look out so mark or a button on this will send my first dummy away nice mark on that Get out. He's taking a lovely line on that. Just hope he goes far enough. Obviously with these little dogs, their, their, their eyesight is obviously that much lower. You can see there he's just a little bit short on it. Working himself back and bang, he's picked that. That was a nice mark, happy with that. See what kind of delivery we get today. They can be variable. Oh, a choke. Fetch it, good lad. Here, good boy. Good boy. Picked a bit of, sorry about that. He just <laughs> must have picked a bit of grass up when he picked that dummy up, but he's got himself sorted out now. Um, not the best delivery, obviously, but uh, I was happy with that. He, he did that nicely. So we'll move on to do the next two. So this is going to give me my split mark. Red one there, green one away. I don't want either of those at this stage. The red one's going to be the hard one for him, or the most tempting one, actually, because it's closer. I think you've got a nice mark on that green, but I want the blind, I want the blind up by that stake. Leave that. Go back. Go back. I don't want him pulling over there. Get out. Get out. Let him hunt that out. There's no scent at all today. You can see how close he is to that stake. He's just winded that. Get out. There. Good boy. <laughs> you just saw his head go then. Good lad here. No. Pick it up. Still got a bit of grass in your throat anyway. Go on. Good lad. Good boy. You sort yourself out. Right. I'm going to send him for the green one next. Get out. And now we're in the, the realms of a marked and a memory. Just see what that mark is like on that. A little bit short again at the moment. Just working that area nicely. That grass is quite thick out there. There, lovely. He's on that, I think. Yep. Good boy, well done. Yeah, happy with that. That was very nice. 
I've really got to work on this delivery. No, pick it up. Good lad, you still got a bit of grass in your cheek, chest, haven't you? Good lad. So, one last one. This one over here, so if he remembers this one, heal. Good work. I can just see that just in front of me here. He's a little bit left handed at the moment. I'm going to leave him. There you go, he's just touched that and he'll come onto that lovely. Good boy, well done. Good lad, here, here, here. Good boy, that'll do you. Well done, mister. Good boy. Well, there you go. I'm quite happy with that. Um, that's quite a complicated little exercise on a really warm day with no scent at all. Uh, obviously, those deliveries were a bit all over the place and that was because of he's got something in his throat. I need to work on this running around me a little bit. Um, you know, some days he does it, some days he doesn't. Uh, funnily enough, I've done some cold game stuff with him recently and he delivers that straight to me. So whether it's, these dummies are quite light, so whether he's just messing around with those. But good, a good exercise. I think we can go home in the shade now, mate. Well done. <laughs>